Hey guys, John Loxa here, back with our blind playthrough of Monster Girl Island Prologue. So hopefully the sound should be a little bit better at this point. Uh, I changed, I didn't change my volume, but I did change uh, what picks up from the game itself. Which, um, which actually explains a lot about why the game felt so quiet in the first place. Uh, because even though it was at 100%, it's still, uh... It was still about 25% of where it was. So I just, um, I didn't actually change anything in the game. I just went to, you know, OBS and, uh, adjusted that slider. Normally, just FYI, most, um, like, say, older emulators, right? Nintendo games, Super Nintendo games, they don't really have a lot of, um, sound control. And so it's important to be able to change your OBS itself the sounds or the volume that is recorded from that. So a lot of more modern games do have the uh, the sound volume within the game. And you could you can change that and not have to adjust your, your slider for what gets picked up by your recording software. But in this case, we uh, it was just easier just to change the slider on on the recording software end. So Manny, do you have to sit right there? You can't see him, but he is sitting right where my mouse is. Like, I'm poking him in the side. He's busy cleaning himself. Oh yeah, the gallery also. I'm not sure what these blue hearts are, but there's eight slots. And then, um... We can't just click on it, can we? No. Okay. Um... I was looking at a guide just very, very briefly. There's something about a ninth spot, so there's probably a ninth character, but you can't actually get her in this, the prologue. So. Man, you are seriously, like, on my mouse cord. He's not hitting any of the buttons, but hang on, let me... How about you move? Go somewhere, here. Get in my lap. Or go that way, or go that way, that's fine too. Here, here move. Move, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. On to the... That's fine. Just down there. You can sit in my lap. He doesn't always... That's fine. <laughs> Alright, so... Uh, back to the loading. Chapter 1 Village. There we go. There's our bunny girl. Uh, I poured myself another finger of... Um, fireball whiskey. And... Uh, eesh. Is that Manny in the background? Yep, okay. He's jumping into the, the chair next to me. The other chair. It's where he goes when he wants to sulk. So that's that's good at least. That means I can kind of uh, straighten myself out. You can't hear my back cracking, but it, it does. People think it don't be like it do. Don't be like it is, but it do. Okay, we have to enable that toggle the run. Interestingly enough, it, there's like a little... I don't know what you call it, like acceleration? Also, what is this? Like... This is... This seems pretty big. Hmm, excuse me. Oh, hang on, don't, don't... Can I, uh, can I click? No. Can I click on any of these doors? Do I... How do I... There's M for map. Oh, 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 ooh, hey. M to quit? Okay. So that's where we are. Forest is that way. Lake is that way. Beach, that way. Um, yeah, okay. I don't remember... It said something, I mean... The controls, right, for the tutorial? I mean, this is obviously a prologue, so we're not going to be able to do much. This is just kind of a tech demo, kind of the actual game itself. Sort of. I mean, it's, it's fine. The music is nice. Can I go into the water? Um, I can swim on top of it and the... See, there you go. Reflection. I mean, maybe. But mirrors don't work in most AAA games. Figure that one out. 
yet a game, a hentai game made by one dude works. Go figure. Maybe this will be the <laughs> the video that finally gets me banned off YouTube. I don't know. I haven't even been doing it that long. So this has to be like... This is probably the whole map, but it's, you know, future. It's set for the future. Okay, beach that way. Oh, forest. Oh, we can, we can do something, right? Okay, forest. Forest or beach, which way will you go? Um... I don't really have a preference. I guess we're supposed to go to the an apple tree. Okay, I can't do anything with the app. Oh, no, maybe I can. Apple obtained. What do I do with that? How did it say I get to inventory? Uh, settings. I. No, tab. We had an inventory, right? Oh. Whatever it was that detoggled the the run. All right, so it looks like stables. Can I open this door? No. There's some kind of wolf thing that we ride that I saw. I I saw it in the little video. Okay, no no clicky. Signs you can interact with, that's the way to the forest, I think. I don't actually see a path. Maybe, maybe you don't. Right? You know what would be interesting? So I'm actually a fan of Rune Factory. It would be interesting if this became like a rune factory with farming and stuff. I mean, you know, it's it's already in development. There's one dude doing it, so it's not going to not going to change anything now, but but I would love to see what is this? That is a thing. What is that? What what is that dumb-looking thing? A a bird? Doesn't tell you any more information though. Too early to go to sleep. Oh, this is where we came from. Yes, I don't know. Oh wait, what is this? There's another uh, drunk chick. Okay, so what about here? No, we can't. That's not where we came from. Okay, well let's go talk to the. Uh... Oh, that's uh. Okay, hang on, hang on real fast. I gotta write this. Oh, okay. Don't don't move. Don't move. Uh... Oh crap! They're uh, looks like a human, but something seems off. Should we burn it before it wakes up? Isn't that her? She looks like a machine. A machine? That doesn't make any sense. Last time I checked, humans weren't making refrigerators with boobs. Ever heard of robots? Rob what? Oh, like those metal golems from human movies? Magic doesn't exist, you know? Golems are nothing more than a legend. Magic doesn't exist. What do you think you guys are? No, no, they're more like science golems. Now that makes even less sense. Uh... Okay. It spoke. Burn it! Wow, oh, you're very... Not nice. Sunlight, please. Oh, she's solar powered. It said sunlight. Should we move her to a sunny spot? No way. I, I guess we can try. Guess we're going to. Man, thank you. I was running super low on energy. I'm just going to have to edit like everything. Do I click now? Because, I mean, look at that. It, they're, they're just right there. They're just right there. Oh, is Jack getting up? Jack's getting up. I'm Ophelia. Nice to meet you all. I'm Ara. My name is Faran, her elder sister. Where are you going, Jack? Oh, there he goes. He's going to the, the cat tree. 
You almost killed me. My name is... You both never told me your names. We'll say my name is... John, right? So you know each other? Hmm, not really. I did knock him out earlier in the beach, though. By accident, of course. Sorry. She's trying to be cute, but... You know... How can we blame you? What? <laughs> I never told you my name. What about the snake woman? I almost died. Let's try on. What about the snake woman? What snake woman? Did I hit you too hard on the head? Never mind all that. It was that or I never told you my name. I think we should address more important matters. Why are you naked? It's a valid question. Are you a pervert? You're a pervert, aren't you? Yeah, what a weirdo. Okay, so it's not just me. She is actually naked. It's just the way I was made. You are such bullies. Are you perhaps getting excited? Maybe you are the perverts after all. Just put some clothes on already, you ex <laughs> You exhibitionist toaster. I can share some if you don't have any. You see, I can't cover these lines all over my beautiful body. I kind of need them to absorb energy and recharge my batteries and stuff. Hold on, I have an idea. All right, let's see. Give me a second. Kya, now I'm really naked. Did she take her skin off? They could see all of me. Betaphilia back in action. So you're indeed a robot. Just what did you do? I just took off some of the silicon covers on my body. Okay. Now it looks straight out of the production line. I, I have no words. Should I take off the facial cover as well? You might get scared of what's under it though. No, I'll pass. You're fine now. I guess it looks like a bodysuit now. It kind of does. Even though you're even more naked now. Uh, okay, so who are you? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? Let's ask the what are you doing here? All right, let me explain the current situation to all of you. I'm an AI, an artificial intelligence. So that means I'm not a flesh being like you all, but a machine. Yeah, no shit. I was created with the objective of gathering information about all intelligent species. My creators are long dead, but I'll carry on with my task until I stop functioning. I hope you don't mind having me around. That's very anime. What do you mean by all intelligent species? Humans, elves, nekomata, dragons, all that kind of stuff. I guess the chick in the middle is nekomata, cat girl. By the way, cat girls are in Area 51, just FYI. Definitely go there on September, whatever the date is. They're hiding your cat girls. <laughs> Don't. That was sarcasm. Do not actually go to Area 51. That's... Just, just no. Just no. This world is bigger than you think. John himself probably thought humans were all alone in this world until today. Now, John. This is an island unknown to humankind. There is a protection in place around it that prevents your people from seeing or accessing it. This place is inhabited exclusively by elves. Well, what is the Nekomata in the middle then? Or at least it was until recently. Like Ara right there. She's not a human or an elf. That is true. So do you know what I am? Fyan or Feren or whatever her name is. She's not happy about that. I don't know where you come from, but I do know what you are. You are a Nekomata. Rel relatively short humanoids with some feline features and two tails. Well, I, I can't see. She even took off her foot covers. I mean, I guess. About John, I don't have any insight on how he got here, but he's just a plain, regular human. I wonder how he arrived to this island. Shipwreck? I can't imagine how he passed through the barrier, though. Uh, I never got into any ship or plane. I was sleeping on my bed and then woke up here. Uh, kidnapped? Beats me. Anyways, I hope you don't mind my presence. 
I don't eat anything and I don't need to sleep under a roof. I'm perfectly fine with resting my butt in some grass. So again, don't worry about me. Not gonna lie, you're kind of suspicious, but I guess you could stay for the time being. No objections here. I have a lot of stuff to ask. To both of you. I guess you can go sightseeing now. Don't touch anything that may break and don't trespass on private property. We're the only ones around for the time being, but all these ho those houses have owners. The rest of the villagers are missing at the moment, but we will go search for them tomorrow morning. That seems weird. I thought it was like a, hey, this is just the prologue, but you know, the rest of the game will be completed soon. But no, it's like, no, 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 everyone's missing, but we'll look for them tomorrow. I just hope they went hunting. It's worrying that every single one is missing. I'm feeling a bit uneasy. It wouldn't be the first time the el elders organized a big hunt. We were away for a couple of days. So it's understandable they didn't wait for us. I suppose. All right, I'll go catch a rabbit to eat tonight. I'll go cook the crabs you caught yesterday. You, human, go help Ara. If you don't cooperate, you won't get to eat anything. Robot, you can do as you wish. You there. Wait, where... Why are we here now? Before you leave. I didn't want Ara to know, but the truth is that the crabs she caught escaped earlier. I can't finish the meal with no crabs. Can you go look for them? Uh, we'll say sure. This is a quest. Good. And she smiled. Kind of. Six crabs escaped. I need you to bring all six of them. Crabs are Ara's favorites, so make sure to bring them ASAP. They should still be somewhere around the village. Don't let me down, outsider. Prove to me that not all humans are garbage. I'll give you a reward if you manage to find them all. I always keep my word. You can find me over there once you collect all six. Where is over there? Where? Wait. Oh, over there. I don't know... Oh, she's ninja running, just like they're going to do at Area 51. There she goes. Where, where is she going? I don't, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. But we'll save. We'll save in uh, Chapter 2. What is help? What is that? Okay, so automatically it disables like any event or cutscene. It, it tog Wait, what is that over there? Another help icon? Help. And then, okay, so that is probably, what's her name? Oh, I see. Okay, so we have our three little blips. The red dots presumably are our uh, NPCs. The one moving around is Ara. The one closest to us is Ophelia, presumably. And then the one over there is Bran. I'm sorry, I don't... I don't mean to be yawning. There she goes. Well, let's go talk to Ophelia first. Can, can we talk to her? Yes. What is that dumb-looking thing? A bird? Okay, so the same thing. There's the help. A crab? I haven't seen any. Do I click again? I can help you find the crabs, though. Okay. Just give me your phone. So... There you go. Your phone was upgraded. I mean, I guess we didn't necessarily have to be in the water. I added a radar to it in my custom-made app, the Crabdar. Just select the app, and it'll point in the direction of the nearest crab. Can't go wrong with it. I'll be here if you need something else. Feel free to talk to me. A little jiggly. A little jiggly. Tutorial apps. As you progress, your phone will get more and more apps installed by Ophelia. Open your inventory with right click. There we go. Select your phone. When you use your O phone, you'll see a list of apps. Click whichever you need in order to access it. Right now, you only have the Crabdar installed. Give it a try. Click to continue. Okay, right click. Okay, phone. Notebook. A simple notebook. A bunch of the pages have been ripped out. 
Apple, regular Apple, I can use, uh, let's see, Ophone version two, your only phone, your only belonging from your previous life, upgraded by Ophelia to search for crabs. Let's use the notebook, destroy, no. Uh, okay. So I clicked and it opened it. Press left, right to change the page. I found this notebook in your room. You have written for quite a while in it, haven't you? I thought that you should start from the beginning now that we've met. I ripped all of, off all the old pages. Make sure to write lots and lots about us from now on. Blank A. Presumably Ophelia. Uh, I'm really sorry. I didn't think you'd be so mad because I ripped off some pages. I'll make sure to make up for it. I'm looking forward to seeing what you'll write next. E. O. P H E L I A. That should be what it is. It's been a while. Why haven't you written anything new? Are you still angry about that time? I won't do it again. I promise. Please write your honest feelings about me in here. Stop reading my private diary. Is that me? Is that, uh, but that's an L. So it's obviously Ophelia. I'm not reading. Hello. It's been a while. You never wrote in here again, huh? Where have you been lately? I miss you. Please come to blank more often. You won't leave me like she did, right? Whoa, that's a little possibly dark, but I can't. There's no more pages I'm clicking right. No more uh, written pages. Okay, so now I'm going back left. Okay, so that is all I can do. And I right click again and it puts it away. Uh, use tap. So I left clicked. There's the crab dar, there's GPS. Okay, so that opens the map. Let's go talk to... Oh, so anything untoggles the run. Wait, is... Okay, and then I click normally to do that. Where is... What's her face? I want to go to the... I want to talk to the Nekomata chick. Can I go in here? No. Wait, what was that? Oh, there she is. Can I talk to her? No. Can I not? No, I can't. I did click on her. It didn't say I could do anything, but I did. I'm busy. Please leave me alone. Uh, I want to help. Humans are not used to hunting, right? You'd be a nuisance. Very well. What is this? A solar crystal powered lamp post. Oh, neat. Okay. Oh, yeah, she does have two tails. Or... Hang on. Chasing. I only see one. How does she get up there? There we go. Well, man, she's fast. So you just click on it and then that sits down. Okay, and then I click again and presumably that gets up. It does. All right, well, let's find the crabs. You know, let's go to, oh, ah, man. The toggle thing is a little annoying. Let's just go to her first and see what she says. Because it says help over there, but she'll probably be like, oh, you need to get the crabs. Right, so private property, don't go into any rooms because they're all used. Okay, so this is... Please go find those crabs. I'm counting on you. She still seems happy. Uh, what are you cooking? I'm grilling some food. We'll have this with some salad I made earlier. But there won't be food for everyone without those crabs, so stop babbling and go find them. Two days worth of food ran away. You must bring them back. Okay, let's find the... Where's my crab dar? Apparently there's going to be money. Tap. Click for apps. Right click to exit. Uh, looking for some crabs, mate. Event. I just, uh, searching. Straight ahead. To the right. Straight. Uh, right now we'll talk to her because it says event up there and it didn't before. Let's pull that up. Okay. Please go find those crabs. I'm counting on you. 
can't find the crabs. These crabs are two days worth of food. You don't get to eat if you don't find them, so go try harder. I'd ask the robot for help if I were you. All right. Oh, little, uh, you know, wow. Right on. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, looking for some crabs, mate. We're gonna go straight. Yeah, so everything you do, right. Uh, we'll just go this way. Everything we do seems to, how can it be? Maybe it's up there. I don't know if we can climb this, but we'll try. Can I jump? No, I can't. Space does nothing. Well, right on. Okay, there's a crab here-ish. To the right and straight. Where, in the well? Not in the well, maybe in the well. Do we do anything with the well? I'm uh, trying to right click. Are you thirsty? No. No, I'm not. Man, everything you do untoggles the uh, the run. That's kind of a pain. Okay, we'll see if we can find this first crab first. Okay, so... You've got to be kidding me, right? Oh, it's probably up there. So how do I get up there? From this way. Maybe from up here. Follow the crab dar. Well, there's... Maybe two. Those aren't crabs, though. That's probably the crab right there. Yep, okay, crab. Found you. Oh, you just click. Okay, crab obtained. It didn't say that you could click. I mean, I think it did once it got a little bit closer, but... Alright, back to the running. Yep, gotta run. Uh... There's one. Okay, yeah, if I stand, like, right over it. Okay. Can we see the crab from here? Can I go backwards? Um, okay, probably on the ground, maybe. Run this way. It's probably up on some of these, you know. Yep. Like I, I can I wait? Do I see it anywhere? There it is. How do I get there? Um, I don't. Oh, okay, I can go this way. Wow, this is kind of a maze. To be honest, is this whole thing just to get the crabs? All right, and they're not kidding about the amount of bloom. There's a lot of bloom. There goes the cat girl. Okay, straight ahead. To the right, straight. Probably on the other side of this thing. Or up. I doubt any of them are on the ground. Because if I was a crab, I would definitely, wait. Okay, there it is. Crab obtained. How many is that? Four. And there were six, right? Lots of different little clicks. And then, yeah. I mean, if the, uh... If... Remdaz or whatever watches this, then, uh... Maybe switch so that the toggle stays toggled. I bet it's, like, right in there in this fence right inside maybe can i get there no wait behind me so up on the rocks 
Uh, where am I? Okay, so I would wager I need to go this way then. Oh, no, okay. So pulling up the map does not change your, uh, it does not toggle the, the thing. All right, I'm going this way. In a minute, I'll drink more fireball whiskey. I'm just... How can I be... There's only two left, right? This cannot be the nearest one. Maybe it is, though. Uh, okay. Wait, what is this? Oranges, I guess. And then, uh... Okay, we have a elf on a wolf. Wait, straight ahead. The crabdar is... There it is. Okay, one more. All right. One more crab to find. Is this the right way? I don't know. But we'll go this way. Oh, hang on. I'm going this way now. I, I will say that I am eternally grateful for the Crabdar. What is it? How's it? Okay, so we're going straight across the bridge. So this is probably the one we were picking up earlier. It's so sensitive though. It's gotta be based on the paths, which is fine. Okay, oh, oh, uh oh. Hey John, what? Oh, she found it. Hey, are you looking for this? I don't really like that. I mean, it's fine. That it's, uh... That you have to, like, look at the dialogue to read it. I don't... Not a fan of that, but I, I get it. Crab seems okay. It seems like it's animated well. Yes. I can give it to you for a price. But my help... <laughs> <laughs> All right. <sighs> uh, okay. It's weird because it tastes good, but it's like super, you know? What's the price you're wondering? Hmm. You will know when the time comes. Are you okay with that? Ooh. Except take it by ref take it by force or refuse. She's gonna show up in the middle of the night, isn't she? Okay, we'll accept it. I see. Here you go. Crab obtained. Well, you can take the crabs to Ferran now. I mean, I really hope it's not like... Like I have an attachment. Like I have a robotic attachment and I need to use it on you. In the way the aliens at Area 51 use it on people. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. But... That's the problem with agreeing to random stuff. I don't see any attachment right there, so we might be okay. She is kind of scary, so I'll leave you to deal with her. See you later. All right, well, okay, there is that. Let's, uh, so we'll do this. We'll turn in our quest, and then, uh, that'll probably be it, because I think we're at 
almost an hour combined. I shouldn't have to edit anything out at this point. I think it'll just be like pictures of Jack and Manny or whatever. Okay. All right. Oh, and the sun's there's a time thing. Okay. So did you find them all? You gave the crabs to Ferran. You actually managed to get them all? She seems surprised. Not gonna lie, I'm actually shocked. She seems unhappy that I found them all. She's like, what the... Now I have to do something? I never expected you to bring back all six. Well, promise is a promise, so you'll get your reward. But first, let's eat. I'll go cook this crab. I'll let you know once it's ready. Okay. Okay. But, uh... You're not actually cooking the crab. Doesn't seem to be any, um... Quest items, so we'll just talk to her again. The food is almost ready. Want to wait here? Sure, or I still have things to do. I don't think I do at the moment. Probably in the final game, we will have things to do. Sure. Wow, that's actually a pretty decent spread. We got some ham. Whoa, you made a lot of food. Oh, there's a crab in the pot. Uh, salad and... I don't know what that pot is. Is that squid? Rabbit guts? I, I don't know. She's just like, yep, she didn't say anything. Hey, that purple food looks super weird. I never saw humans eating anything like that. Of course not. Our food is superior to anything humans might have. Um, if it's purple, it could be Japanese sweet potatoes, which are awesome, by the way, if you haven't had them. It's just a root vegetable. Not a lot different from something on potatoes. There we go! What did I say? <laughs> I think what you're trying to say is the purple kuru is clearly superior to human potatoes. Nope, I've tried french fries before. A human dish made with potatoes. They've clearly got us beaten, sis. Excuse my little sister. She's clearly too hungry to think straight right now. Yeah, so if you want to... Uh, you get the Japanese sweet potato. Stick it in the oven at... It's been a while, but I think it's about 400 degrees. No, maybe that's too high. I don't remember, but you cook it for about 50 minutes. And then you just... Um, once you take it out and it cools down, you eat it plain. You just grab the potato and just eat. Um, especially at the points where all the skin is. It's something about the skin that has all the sweetness. So where the where the skin is, it's kind of like charred and caramelized and stuff. Amazing. Amazing. Seriously, if you can find some at like a, like a market, get them. They're the purple ones with like the yellow on the inside. Not the brown outside with the purple on the inside. Because there's some of those too, and those are those are fine. But the, the sweet potatoes are the, the purple skin with the yellow inside. And those are super sweet, super delicious. Do you know how to make french fries, John? Kind of. Just, I, I've never done it. Maybe we can use purple kuru as a substitute for potatoes. Good idea. Or I don't know. Let's try good idea. Hold on a second, because they said the the blue choices don't matter. Now I'm all stuffed up. Probably from the sugars. I did a carb-free or low-carb diet once. I noticed my allergies, like, went away. Ugh, but I can't give up my whiskey. Or beer. I won't allow for our vegetables to be tarnished and desecrated with barbaric human recipes. We shall have Kuru the Elven way, how it's meant to be. It's just like Gah. It's best served live. 
Don't worry, John. We can just make some Kuro chips while Ferran is looking away. By the way, kale chips? I know a lot of people don't like kale. I'm okay with it. It tastes like broccoli. But you can take, um, you take the kale chips, or take kale, you wash it, split it into, like, you know, the size pieces that you want, about chip size. Stick them in a bowl uh, with some olive oil, and you could do, like, different, a couple different things. I did, um, like, spicy brown mustard and honey. Mix it all together until they're nice and evenly coated. Stick it on a baking sheet. Put it in the oven for, I don't remember the temperature or the time. But they come out, they come out a little crispy. They're like chips. It's... Man, I'm getting my, my mouth starting to water. You can, uh... You can make like barbecue, you can make ranch. You know, treat them like chips. And and that way, if you don't like the flavor of kale, you can kind of disguise it a little bit. Sorry if I'm putting my hand in front of the camera. It makes my head look tiny. It's only tiny because I'm kind of leaning back a little bit, but... Whatever, can we just eat? The food's getting cold. Yes, let's eat. Not like I can eat any of this or anything. Right, because she's solar powered. There we go. That was great as always. Good job, sis. See, I don't have a body. I'm just empty nothing on the chair. You bet it was. So what do you think of elven food, John? Anything to share with us? Actually, I'd really like to hear your thoughts as well. Ah, oh, excuse me. I couldn't care less about his opinion, unless I agree, right? It was really good. It was edible, I guess. I miss human food. Let's say it was really good. Did, did you really? I mean, of course you did. My cooking is flawless. I suppose some humans do have fine taste as well. I told you it wasn't that bad, sis. Don't get me wrong, humans are still pitiful creatures, incapable of making anything good. So it's no surprise this one right right here got mind blown by a superior cuisine. Yeah, humans are quite the misfortunate beings, aren't they? What an unexpected development. Ophelia has joined the human bullying. It's not bullying, we're just stating facts. Feel free to spit out any truths to his face as well, my sister. Mm, I think humans are pretty cool. Aura. Well, I'm not so sure about this particular one. Just kidding. Sometimes you're unbelievable, you know? It's okay, sis. One day you'll see that humans are just like regular people, like all of us. Hmm. I wouldn't say that statement is false, but... Did you say something, Ophelia? Nothing. Well then, dinner time is over. You can all go whatever... Do whatever before sleep. Do whatever. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the food. Don't mind my sister too much. She is as stubborn as a mule. Stubborn as a what? Also, no, I'm not. It's a human saying, sis. Mules are horse-like animals. You should read some of my human books sometime. They have interesting stuff. Ah, oh, jeez. Not interested. There she goes. Hey, John. I want to ask you some things. If you want to chat, you can come to my house. The door will be open. I'll be waiting. My... Yeah. Oh, that's... That's her house? Okay. Hey, human. Come over here. Where is here? Sorry, I'm kind of licking my... It is very pretty. The graphics themselves are not super great, but it's... The grass moves well. It's passable. There's a couple events. You were very helpful today. I'm grateful. I'd like to compensate you somehow. <laughs> what kind of reward would you like? Oh yeah. I mean, why are, okay, I would like food. Your gratitude is more than enough. Let me touch your breasts. <laughs> I mean, clearly we're going to go with the red one, right? That's the point. So yeah, I'm going to like, there's going to be a giant freaking black square over this next part, I'm sure. Uh, unless it's voice acted. If it's like, oh, 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 uh, I'm, I'm just cut, cut that out. Man, how are we at almost an hour? That's... Anyway, 
Huh? What an odd request. Do you not know about... You know, sexuality and stuff? Like, what's going on? Why did you ask her something like that? She didn't say no. And why my breasts specifically? Do you have to ask? Oh well, I guess there's no harm. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, whoa, wait. A chill just went down my spine. It doesn't feel right to show you my breasts here for whatever reason. Let's go do it inside my house instead. I'll be waiting. Where's... Is that the house? I don't know. I'm hoping there's the event. Thing. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four events? Are you serious? How? Um, okay. Well, let's talk to Ophelia. She's happy. Hey! Oh yeah, if you want to learn about different people and species, come talk to me anytime. Hey or database? Let's say database. Oh, you want to know about the girls? Okay, so we have 6 by 4, so 24. Uh, Nekomata, okay, so no nudity on this part. Uh, Ara, Nekomata Ara, has lived on the island for as long as she can remember. Being inhabited primarily by elves, it's unclear how she arrived there in the first place. She's very close to her adopted sister, Faran, who has taken care of her since she was a baby. Ara is usually easy, usually easygoing and prefers to read or play instead of working, but lately she's been worrying about the disappearance of her parents and the rest of the elves of her village. Age 19, height and weight, bust weight height, likes seafood, books, games, dislikes Shuri. I don't know... Is Shuri a name? Faran, Dark Elf, a young member of the Dark Elven tribe of the island. She's overconfident in her hunting and cooking skills, but she only really shines with the latter. Her good nature makes her great at handling children and animals, but her temper comes through when it comes to dealing with humans. She has a pet wolf that's strong enough to carry a human on his back. So that's gotta be what we saw in the trailer. By age 56, young and elf years. Height, weight, bust weight, height. Likes cooking animals, Ara dislikes humans. Well, okay. Ophelia, with the black eyes. Android. The mysterious main heroine that falls from the sky and changes the main character's life forever has arrived. Love at first sight? How could he not? Ophelia is smart, strong, and super cute. She's also the last survivor of the Obsidian Guardians, the only beings capable of absorbing the dark flames of the evil Dragon Queen. There's no doubt that Ophelia is the true protagonist of this story. When activating her Dark Fallen Angel of Chaos mode, that is super anime. <laughs> There's no villain that can get in her way. Not to mention her eyes turning black make her look super cool. Well, the future holds for our heroine. Find out in the next chapter. Age. Uh. Height. Ahoge included. Is that the little. Antenna? Wait. Rude. Bust weight height. Secret. Likes everyone. Dislikes. Well, Demon Queen. What is this? What is that text right there? I can't see it. I don't know. Play something something. Are there little hidden stuff in the others? No. Nope. Okay. Exit. There's the jiggle. What is that dumb looking bird? Let's save real fast. Save. Uh, yeah, we'll save over this. Save it in slot two. I'm going to exit right here, actually. I don't want to, but we're we're at almost 50 minutes for this recording alone. I don't think I'm going to be able to edit anything out. And plus the 22 minutes from the previous episode. Probably going to go with. Um, make it a little bit over an hour. I Maybe I won't even. Maybe I won't even. I. I Oh, crap. Well, okay. Anyway, didn't mean to exit. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. 
I thought that was go back to the game. That's it for today. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this this episode. I will merge the two together. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a real pain to put little little blocks and stuff all over the place. Um, but uh, but yeah, there you go. What is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's despite the fact that this uh, whiskey is, you know, I'm enjoying it. Um, that's it. That's my unique positive moment for today. Hopefully your guys is just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. Until then, I will see you guys next time. Take care.